Hello fellow Xiaoqi viewers, I'm Let's Play Xiaoqi. In this series, I'm creating Xiaoqi videos on commentary on past Xiaoqi matches played at tournaments and leagues. Before we start playing the match, please take note of the Xiaoqi board on the left. Number one, reference to position of each Xiaoqi piece. Take note of the horizontal line H0 to H9 and vertical lines V1 to V9. Okay, H0 to H9 is here. For example, this line is H1, this is H2, H3, and so on. And these are the words V1 to V9. For example, this vertical line is called V1, V2. To specify the location of any piece, I will make reference to horizontal and vertical coordinates. For example, the red power on the right will be referred as 2-2. Two, two. This one. Okay, horizontal line is 0, 1, 2. Vertical line is 1, 2. So for this power, the coordinates is 2, 2. One more example. The red power on the left is 2, 8. This power is 2, 8. So this is 0, 1, 2. Horizontal line is 2. Vertical line is 8, so it's 2 8. One more example. Black bar on the left is 9 8. This one. Horizontal position is 9. Vertical position is 8. So it's the position, the coordinates of this bar is 9 8. Number 2. The naming the Xiangqi pieces. For the king, we call it Suai for the red king. Jiang for the black king. For the advisor, we call it Shi. For the bishop, we call it Xiang. For the knight or horse, we call it Ma. For the rook, we call it Chi. For the cannon, we call it Tao. For the pawn, we call it Ping for the red piece and Zhu for the black piece. Okay, let's start playing the match. The match is between two players, Zheng Wei Tong and Wang Tianyi. The event is 2021 10th Pi Yen Cup. The red started off with central pow, 2 to 5, followed by black ma at plus 7. The opening is central pow, ping versus screen ma with qi and xiang. The red qi is the first to cross into black territory by playing qi 2 plus 6. The red chi is making the first chase on the black ma. The two black chi on the same line signals that they are ready to, to exchange with the red chi. The red chi takes cover. Eventually, there's an exchange between the red chi and the black chi. 
The red pile is positioning itself on line 7, ready to strike the Ma and the Xiang on vertical line 7. Black Chi trying to catch the red Ma. Chi watching the red Ma very closely. Now, review the position as at move 32. We will come back later to comment on this. Black place power 5 to 7, getting ready to attack Red Ma at 2 3. Red response with G8 plus 4 to take control of vertical line 7. Black G moves G4 plus 3 to attempt to snatch line 7. The line of contention is on this line, that is vertical line 7, Ma, Chi and Pao, they are attacking the black pieces along these two lines. And the black Chi is trying to get into this line 7 to block off the attack. The red pile is faster. It moves two steps up, up blocking the black G. The black G moves to line 7, that is a vertical line 7. It can only threaten the red Xiang. Review this position as I move 36. We will come back and comment on it. The black pal decided to capture the red ma, followed by the red pal hitting the central two. The black pal at line eight moves to line nine, and then captures the red ping at line nine. The red goes for a check on the Jiang and the black responds with a Si to block the check. Ma moves in to check again. The reds are continuing to attack. At this stage, after move 57, the black player resigns. Now, let us rewind the match to move 31. Both the black power at position 7, 8 and 7, 5 are covering each other in defense. These two power. If black power at location 7, 3 decided to attack red ma at 2, 3, red chi counter attack is from 8 to 7. This power decided to attack this one. She will take on this one. Both players have a ping and two each cross the river. As she has crossed the river, the red ping has also crossed the river. The black ma at location 3-3 three, three may hit red power at location 2-5 as the latter is posing real danger if it hits the black two at 6, 5 by advancing pow 5 plus 4 This ma may hit this pow because this pow is posing a danger to this two. That is, this pow if it attacks this 2 then this pow will come face to face with the black jiang For the red player the red chi at location 0, 8 is aiming at the black pile at location 7 8. That is, this G is aiming directly at this pile. 
The red pile at location 27 is providing cover to red ma at location 67. There is this pile is providing cover for this ma. This black chi is watching this ma. This black pile also has the potential to strike this xiang. If it manages to strike this xiang, it will change in the xiang. The red pile at location 25 is aiming its gun and black two, which poses a high risk for the opponent. This red pile aiming directly at this two. And if it is successful, then this is too dangerous for the young. As at now, both players have equal chances of winning. Okay, let's move on. Red plays G8 plus 4. Black responded with Black G4 plus 3. The line of contention is this line. This is line 7. Red is going to attack on these two lines. So, for this G, it's trying to sneak in to this line so it can attack on this line. So, it moves from here to here. And squeeze in. But the red is faster. The red power moves in, moves in to block the chi from harassing these three pieces. The black chi can only move to the vertical line 7 to threaten the red xiang. But starting from here onwards, it is controlled by the red. And these few pieces, the red pieces, will launch and attack. Red moves Xiang 7 plus 9. Black moves Pao 7 plus 5. Black decided to hit the red Ma. This is where the black defense started to collapse. This gives red player the opportunity to begin the lethal strike by hitting black too with the central red power. The move is power 5 plus 4. Like this. The black power at position 8-8 attempted to escape from the red G. So this one is trying to escape from the red G. The black defense simply crumble and paved the way for the red to capture the Xiang. So starting from here onwards, the red will move on to capture the king. Now the question is, how should black play to stay in the game? Let's refer to move 38. The Qi is trying to uh, take on the Xiang. Xiang moves, moves away. And the Ping moves here. In my opinion, I would play to 7 to 8 instead of to 7 to 6. Okay, let's look at the Xiang Qi board on the left. There's this one. Let's say I move with this position to to the right. Red responded with a ping to the right. Only then I take the pao. I take the ma. Only then I take the ma at this position. Red will play red pao to take the central two. So my black jiang comes face to face with the red. Pow. I move my black pow to this position so I can hit this pow. Chi will take on, will hit the pow, the black pow here. So my black pow will hit the red pow. Red pow move, moves two steps backwards. My black ma will hit the pow, the red pow. Red two 
will hit the black ma. Ma moves to the central line. Chi will move three step backward to hit this black pound. Black chi move aside here. Red chi will hit the black pound. As at this position, the red has got one chi, one ma, and four ping. The black has got one chi, one ma, and three two. So it looks like it is a drawn game. Okay, that's all for the game. Thank you viewers, and I hope you enjoy the game. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.